Hey guys, today we'll be learning about use state hook, which is a simple hook to manage the state of your React application. There are other hooks that are used to manage the state, like use reducer. We have a hook, and uh, we also have a library, a React library for managing only the state of your application, which is Redux. And we got other things like context API, but use state hook is a very simple hook which we use to manage the state of our application. And this is also the first uh, state hook that everybody uses to manage their simple state, if, if you got a simple state of your application. So to understand this, we I created a simple React app with npx create React app command, and we got this. this just a simple application so we're going to edit this right so this is the app component so if i delete it i'm going to clean the code and just start from scratch so we're going to build a counter application okay so i just said counter so if we go here see we only have this header one and that's what we have in this jsx component okay now we will be editing only this component because we will not be building anything complex, just a simple counter application so that we can understand use state. Okay. Now uh, let me delete this because we not be doing we not be uh, using it. So if we import React add, we're gonna also import use state from React. So that that's the hook we'll be using. Okay, so let's start building a simple counter application. Let's keep it here, and I'm gonna create a div with the class name of counter, and here a button to release the counter, and another button. To increase the counter okay and in between the button we will have the state how are we gonna create the state let's, let's do it so we have use state hook so what we're gonna do or in here we're gonna call this function use state hook and we're gonna pass the initial value of the state so let's pose initial value of the state of the counter that we want to manage is zero so, and this hook returns exactly an array with exactly two elements. And the first element in that array is the variable which takes the latest value of your state. And the second element in that array would be a state updating function, which this which this hook gives you. So anytime you want to update the state, you have to use that function. That's that's how use state work. So we can destruct that array and convert it to something like n. Yeah. Now the thing is, we can first element and second element we can give any name we want okay it doesn't matter but name doesn't matter with the name but only the order matters so i'm going to call it count as the first very uh, first element which is the variable to manage the state which will take the updated value always take the updated value that we can use in any in our application and the second element is the function we're going to call it set count you can call it anything you want but this is how we use it with the name of set as the prefix and count as the name of your uh, name of your state this is just a convention okay so let's pause um here i'll keep this state just to see this if I save it, state is not defined. Oh yeah, not state, it's count. Okay, see, this is zero. This is the initial value. If I click this button, nothing happened. This button, nothing happens. So we call, we are not managing the 
on click we are not responding to clicking of this button so that's so let's respond okay so here on this button let's put we have on click prop that we can use and we what we want we want to run a function when we click on this button so i'm going to call that decrementer right and here i'm going to call it incrementer right so now i'm going to define these function at the top incrementer and same way decrementer arrow function zero okay now what we want that when we click on this button incrementer function would be executed and when this function is executed we want to add a number to the previous value of the count variable of the count state so let's how we do it i i, I told you that we can't do this because we have the variable we can't do this count is equal to count plus one okay yeah this is a simple i mean this is how we update the value but if you do it and nothing happens because this is how this is not how react works if you want to update the state you have to use that state updating function which is set count which use state hook gives you as the second element of that array so we have to call that set count and what we can do now is because we don't know what is the previous value what is the value that we want to add number one in it so let's do it this way because at least we have count so what we can do here count is equal to count plus one and now we have to count here okay or you can simply do this let new count and now at least with the count variable i told you that initially it is zero so when you do zero plus one it's one and one is passed in new count variable which you can pass here because if you do this only then state will be updated okay so now if we can see it in the browser see it's working but if we click on this it's not working because we have to do the other way let you count in the same way whatever count we have this is important whatever count we have you have you're gonna find you're gonna decrease that number with minus one and then you are gonna update it with the new count and you have the application see now if i'm doing this it's increasing if i clicking on minus button it's decreasing zero yep they're working because we're not validating yet yeah so this is how our use state hook works so this is a use state hook that it's a very simple application i i just wanted to explain how use state works but we in the next video i what i will be doing i will be doing the same application but i'll be explaining you but we will not be using use state hook we will be using another hook we're going to call it use reducer this is the hook uh, which we use most of the time when you have a complex state but just to understand we're going to do it in the next video the the same application but with you use reducer all right guys thank you very much